Now what I want to do here is I want to export this video footage as multiple layers in After Effects so that I can complete my editing process. If you try to bring in this project um, or if you try to open this Premiere Pro project in After Effects, it will not work. Um, it will be so confusing and so frustrating. So in order to preserve the linkage of the multicam sequence, what you have to do is you have to select your video files, right click, go to multicam and you have to flatten the videos. Now what I can do is I can just go ahead and copy. Now I'll go ahead and open up After Effects. I'm going to drag this window here. So now that we have After Effects open, we'll go ahead and create a new composition. And I know that my footage is a 1080p and I know the frame rate is 23.976. I'll go ahead and adjust the composition so that it matches the video coming in from uh, Premiere Pro. Click on OK. Now once I am in this timeline, once I'm in this composition, what I need to do is I need to go back to Premiere Pro and I'm going to copy all of this right here. Go to After Effects Composition. Make sure you're in the composition and I'm going to hit Control V. And oops, sorry, let me bring that back up and let's go full screen. So let's see what's going on. So what you'll notice here is that your multicam sequence edits have been carried over to After Effects and every layer is going to be from its respective camera. So if I go to layer number two here, it's coming from the DSLR and this one here is coming from GoPro. And this is going to preserve your audio and your video. Now because the footage that's coming in is from two separate cameras, so the color grade that I have to apply on both of these cameras is going to be different. So the best way to group these layers is to search for them. So I'm going to search for anything that starts with GoPro, which is this one right here. Okay, good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I am going to pre-compose this. And I'm just going to call it GoPro Sequence. Click on OK. Now I have a GoPro Sequence. And for the remaining ones, I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll pre-compose and I will just call this DSLR footage. Now everything in here becomes so easy to work with because if there's a color grade that I want to apply to the GoPro Sequence, I can just go into this comp and apply the color grade. And if there's a separate color grade that I need for the DSLR footage, I can just go to that pre-comp and apply a different color grade. But this tutorial is not going to focus on color grading of your footage. It's really to share with you what the workflow is. So once you have your composition ready and you've got it all color graded, and now you are ready to export your footage. Uh, you just have to go to composition and click on add to render queue for your output modules. Um, go ahead and select QuickTime and H.264 is the codec that you'll be using for your videos. This is good. Um, audio is good too. Um, I just leave it to the default settings. Click on OK. Select your destination where you want to export this footage to. And then finally go ahead and click on Render. 